All right, to recap from the last video, what we learned is how to chest breathe versus belly breathe, separate the two, what abs versus diaphragm feels like or the Buddha belly. If you don't have that mastered or figured out, please work on that more before you move on to this step. All right, now if you're ready, this step is we're gonna start uh, practicing this breathing in the happy baby or three month supine position. Okay, and so I'll work you through those pieces right now. And so what we wanna do is make sure that you have uh, somewhere to prop your legs up. What typically works is like the edge of your couch. You can uh, pull up a chair or maybe even an ottoman, something like that will work. And what it will look like is you'll lie on your back and you'll slide your butt toward the edge. And what you actively wanna do is make sure your knees are at least at your hip crease, if not above a little bit more. We don't want them down past the hip crease. So actively you wanna bring your knees up about the hip crease level. And then once we're lying down this relaxed position, we're first gonna work on the A of the core ABCs, the alignment. So everyone's gonna lie down a little bit differently. If you can see here, some people might be in more of an arched position where you have a space here. Some people, small of their back may be completely flat. The higher up your knees are, the better it is to be flat. In this case, we want to be flat in the back. We want to actively push the small of the back down into the ground. Why? Because that makes sure that our rib cage and our pelvis is aligned in that parallel position, where if I'm arched, we're in that oblique open scissors position that we don't want to be in, and there's a big space underneath the back. We want to clear that space. So take your hands, run them under here, check yourself, and if you can touch your fingers at both ends, we have too much space there. So you wanna actively push the small of your back into your fingertips and you should not be able to slide those underneath. Okay, now that you're connected here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly breathe into our abdomen. So we'll go back to our chest versus belly breath, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly button, and we're gonna focus on breathing low into the belly. Good, go nice and slowly. And as you go along, maybe like 10 breaths or so, gradually add more pressure. So I'm gonna breathe in and breathe out. The next breath, I'm gonna breathe in a little bit more and breathe out. Now pay attention, because as you breathe in, if you start to squeeze, watch for that. Don't go through that squeeze. So if you start to squeeze, back off a little bit Breathe out and breathe back in. So you wanna create the maximum amount of inflation without squeezing the abs and your goal is to create that big breath. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Perfect. And if you're having a hard time with that, we have some different devices we can use. Uh, because we want to get this mastered because the next step is we're going to start generating more pressure down into our hip crease Which is harder than just making the belly button of the top of the belly move So around the house you can grab some different things maybe a soup can or I don't know a shoe something more weight probably here We have a kettlebell we can use about 13 pounds. This is great for the abdomen uh, but you can take something else, like maybe you have a book around, four-hour body, pretty fitting. Um, something that has some weight that you can put on your stomach to feel that pressure going into your belly. So this is kind of like when you're breathing face down, but instead of your belly pushing into the ground, there's nothing to push against toward the ceiling, right? So you need something there to facilitate that feedback, okay? So we'll take our device and we'll place it on the belly here. Get into our position, back flat into the ground, knees at the hip crease level. And from here, we'll just breathe the book toward the ceiling. I'm gonna take my fingertips and put them into the pecs here, or the chest, right below the collarbone, to make sure I'm not creating tension with my breath up here. Okay. And here we go. We'll breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. and full breath out. And remember, if you start squeezing your abs as you breathe in, or if you start to go up into your chest when you breathe in, back off, breathe back out. We're really focusing on just down here for right now. I 
if that's not working for you, grab something a little heavier. This 13 pound kettlebell will definitely do the job here. As you can see, it pushes into my belly here and then I can breathe it away. And breathe out. Where I can really feel that sinking in down toward my spine. Perfect. Once we have that, next step is we're gonna to try to breathe down into our hip crease. So once you feel like you have that full rising bread or balloon expansion and feel, we're gonna to try to go below the belt line here. So we'll take the hands, stick them in the hip crease here, and you're gonna slowly breathe in. Deeper, deeper, deeper. And breathe out. In order to feel expansion down here, it's going to take full expansion here. So if you're not able to get full expansion uh, before squeezing or lifting to your chest, you will not get this here. So what you want to think is you're breathing down and low, out towards your lower region here, or to be frank, you're out towards your butt. So when you breathe, you want to think about breathing down into your hands here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, breathe in. And breathe out. And I'm feeling expansion down here. Now the next step is once we have that, that's gonna ensure that we can engage into the back. Because the lower we breathe down here, the more back expansion we can get here. And what we learned by the core ABCs is that we need 360 degree breathing to create pressure into the back to stabilize the spine. So now we'll take the L's of our fingers, the, the fingertips of the index fingers will go in the front near the crease of the hips. The thumbs will wrap around your pelvis here, which is sometimes called the hip bone, but your pelvis. And the thumb will be on the back side of the abdomen. From here now, we're going to still focus on breathing down low out through our butt. Breathe in. And breathe out. But now we're gonna focus and see as we're expanding into our, our index fingers, are we also getting thumb expansion? So we wanna separate the th index and the thumb like this as we breathe. So let's take a few more breaths here. Full inhale. Full exhale. Perfect. And now to practice that, that's going to take a while. This is hard. Don't get frustrated. It takes time and repetition. So do about 10 breaths at a time, maybe three sets at a time, a couple times a day. Practice this periodically to help you feel that expansion.